So once again, we are back here on Pseudor Baton, but not chasing snow leopards. We are actually headed out down here in the southern part of the map, and it's currently no guy drink time, so we'll check some no guy lakes. And as always, the hope is eventually some tigers are gonna find us. Now last time, that didn't happen, so uh, I thought we'd bring a loadout that might make them a little more likely to actually show up. Now, I'm gonna be honest, part of the goal here today is to kinda reverse psychology the game, into giving us that diamond snow leopard. So often, and I talk about this all the time, you get your best trophies when you're hunting other stuff, so we're not going to target snow leopards at any point. Of course, if we find a track for one or anything like that, we'll be going after it, but when it gets later into the hunt, blue sheep drink time, Tibetan fox drink time, and we move up into the mountains, the true hope is at some point we'll find that snow leopard, but there's so many cool things out here, before we even get to that, maybe we can find something for our lodge. Ooh, and... Go figure, got a little tiger track here, so we'll have to go and try to find that, but our nil guy was an 85, got that hard shot, which we so rarely managed to hit. It just, it's a huge heart, but it sits so low. You gotta hit that just right. Anyway, let's see if we can figure out where this guy is, and kinda like I said, hopefully he actually finds us. Well, he's here somewhere. What I actually don't understand is, like, the feed zone's here, I wonder if he circled around us already? I thought I could just like on the edge of my hearing. I thought I could hear footsteps. This is honestly a horrible spot. If he doesn't come up right behind us, we're not really gonna be able to see him. I think we're gonna just kind of creep towards the top of this hill. Keep on listening for any kind of sound. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he got real close to us real fast. Oh, um, oh, are we gonna survive this? Okay, I wasn't sure if he's gonna get back up. That's the thing, when you shoot them early and they stay aggressive, that can be more dangerous than letting them get way closer to you. Not bad, kilometer track, 51.95 scoring gold, got double on the first time, really the only thing that flesh hit did the second time was knock him down to where he couldn't get to us before his health dropped from the double lung shot. A little bit intense, that's the first time I've shot a tiger in a while, quite honestly, and uh, good to finally get one again, so Let's keep scooting south, let's keep on looking for Nil Guy, and maybe we can find a couple more of those guys. There's a really nice Nil Guy, 94 minimum, up to 101 level 4. Of course, we have, like, no shot angle. I mean, if he does that little turn thing again, maybe? That is gonna be iffy at best. I'm not sure. I don't think we got a vital. It probably won't kill him. I don't know why I would attempt. I think we got it. He's dropping. If we actually got vitals, there's that's insane. I have no idea why I just went for a second shot. He's probably not a diamond, although I think diamonds 94, 95? Maybe he is. Um, really hope we got a vital then. Less thinking occurred there than should have, but if that got into a lung, then we should be fine. I, I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> it wasn't a good idea. But we got vitals. I really... Had I thought about the score estimate, because I was thinking 96 is diamond, it's not. I probably wouldn't have done that. Let's see what we're looking at here. It's the dark brown fur type. It looked pretty big when he took off. And somehow we got a lung on the follow-up. Oh, it's a 94.64. Misses it by 0.2. Really nice big level 4 no guy, though. 283 kilo. First shot even wasn't that bad. It was just too high. Second shot... Just kind of got into the back of the left lung. That is a pretty darn nice one. What is so bizarre with them, I don't know if I got stuck in the harvest screen or hit the wrong button. We have four diamond nil guy. All of them are from single player. We have not even seen a level five in multiplayer. And I don't even know how that's a thing. We've hunted them way more in multiplayer, but our single player map just keeps producing them. Maybe more big nil guy on this server than any other one we've seen. Two max estimate fours at the same lake, and a level one in between them? I don't know if we can get them both. I guess we'll attempt it. Why not? That one and that one should be absolutely fine. Still missed the hard shot on that frontal one, but he's gonna go down and the other one already has. So actually now three pretty big ones. That guy, I thought something weird happened in the last harvest screen. That guy's 91.25. We have fixed this before. I can't remember how we fixed it. You have to do something. 
I don't think it was that. There's something we have to do in the harvest screen that'll make that go away, but it should happen again here. Now maybe we fixed it, I don't know, 92.68 and 91. So now three over 91, and it is currently 1037. So lots of Nilgai drink time left. I kind of think I want to chase some water buffalo in the process of looking for Barasinga. So we might get down into the river area, but we've got some time before then. I guess we could go up here. Well, we've made it to water buffalo drink time, which also means Barasinga drink time. I don't know where that guy was, because I looked in this entire herd of them. Actually, hadn't even seen that mythical, so I guess they're hiding good. Nonetheless, get that shot while he's heading over here. There's a muntjack coming out of there. That's just a female. <laughs> and I think... <laughs> Somehow he's able to run across the bottom of the... Is he going to float that way? Or is he not going to float because he didn't technically... Well, this might be a problem. Anyway, uh, assuming we can get to him... Pretty decent first. The only thing I can think of is like jumping in here. I don't think we're going to be able to claim that. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> I had just wasted like, I don't know, 15 minutes running out of render, hunting some other stuff and working our way back to try to claim that water buffalo. And I don't know if we'll be able to get back in that server or not. So at the very least, we will be able to claim when we went out of render, disconnected from the server anyway. And I've now come back in, and I think it might still show... What? Oh, it's combining two names there. I think we've seen that one other time. That was a 164, which was his top-end estimate. Three and a half shy of diamond. And, uh, you know, minus the massive waste of time, trying to go out of render to collect him and then disconnecting anyway. Not too bad. So it's 1420. I want to go after Blue Sheep pretty soon and, you know, try to reverse psychology the game into giving us a Diamond Snow Leopard. But maybe we'll check a couple of Bear Single Lakes, get the Blue Sheep time to get into their zones, and then we'll head up north. That's a big Bear Singa in there. That's a four? 209 to 246. I really. Dang, there's a decent one there too. I really thought we had a monster there. I mean, we might as well try to take it out and see what we're looking at. I thought we were going to clutch up here the last bear single lake we're checking before we go up into the mountains. Looks like we got Vitals Man. He looks every bit a 5 to me. I really want to see what he scores. Diamond's 226, I think. 209 minimum, he'll be solid, but obviously pretty good chance he's not solid enough. Dark brown fur and everything, like one that we haven't had a diamond of. He's got the split times like 5s. I don't know. Let's see what he ends up scoring. Wow, 222. He just falls shy. I would have loved that with that dark brown fur. Probably better than he was a four then. Because clearly he's in that range. He could have been a troll five. But a pretty good way to jump up north. And now it's official. Not only nothing special for Barasinga, no guy, anything like that. But one tiger the entire time. So uh, I guess we'll start. Yeah, let's go down here and work all the way up through. Well, that's one way to find a snow leopard. That thing is darn near glowing out there with the night vision binos. That's a level six. So, before he just walks out of sight or go and chase something. That's a good way to put him to bed since it is absolute last light here. Just after 1900. And frankly, I mean, I have the night vision binos out. We're down here at these lakes. We're hunting for a Tibetan fox at this point, trying to find one. And, uh, yeah, you know, if a snow leopard shows up, that's all good. But as far as the game's concerned, we're hunting Tibetan Fox, not Snow Leopard. It has to be convincing. <laughs> but a nice Snow Variant level 6 got him kind of far back. Stomach, left lung, and vertebrae. Not sure how he pulled that off. 26.6 score though, not too bad. With the 303 there at 258. So we're just going to scoot down through these couple of lakes. I do want to get up north there as well. Pretty much going to check every Tibetan Fox drink location we can. Well, there's at least a mythical fox. Unfortunately, already spooked him. That's not what I meant to do, but we're going to go with the light off. Kind of him to kind of just start walking there so we can get him with the 223. That's the only even remotely decent one we've seen. So we probably could have spooked other ones down there. It's a five. And really, I don't see anything else. So at least we've gotten that. But we're pretty much at the end now of Tibetan fox ring time. In fact, it's a little bit past. So... Not really sure what the move's gonna be from here. 
Unfortunately, we don't have hosts, so we can't change the time even if we wanted to, so I guess we'll kind of stick with it. As for our mythical, though, 5.86, so kind of decent. I knew we were a little high with that shot, but Double Lung still got Vertebrae in there. And at least we're able to stumble into one good one as we've kind of moved along here. I think... I don't know if it's worth looking for foxes in any other locations. Maybe we'll just go up here and... Well, now we have hosts, because that was the only other person here. I'm not sure what time to make it. There's another... Boy, did that look bright white. Maybe that was just snow variant, but another snow leopard. We actually had the mating call down there. Kind of was just hoping for the warning call to let us know when to slow up. But finally, a second one. I actually made it about 1300. It's 1420 now. But we tend to do pretty decent kind of in the afternoon for these things. So I'm just going to keep on holding out hope that that was actually a rare, but it probably wasn't. Tough to tell when it's going through brush. So it was running pretty much full go down through here. I don't imagine we're going to catch it in this opening. Oh my goodness. That was a leucistic snow leopard. That, oh, there he is. Oh, you really can tell the difference. Unbelievable. Finally, some kind of good snowy, and it's it's a guaranteed gold as a level 7. We have shot probably a hundred snow leopards on the move by now. Ain't gonna be this one. We have host. That doesn't mean that nothing bad can happen. Multiplayer can still be kind of weird, but it's a little safer. And we're just gonna slowly move down here. Hopefully it goes nervous. I don't know. We haven't shot a lot of snow leopards that have already spooked once they've calmed back down. It just doesn't tend to happen. We gotta make it happen here. Oh, he's right there. I can't see him. Oh, what a perfect spot. He could not have chosen a better place to slow up. He's right over top of that hill. I don't think there's anywhere he can go and just like completely get out of our sight. Man, would it be nice if he just moved back this way. I'm gonna mark right there. And I think what we're gonna do is maybe just sit still a minute, let him try to calm back down, and then we'll slowly crawl out and around. Now, if he's nervous, he should be feeding which means he could just go and chase something. And I'm kind of hoping maybe he'll do that and end up somewhere in sight or walk right back at us. Look at that. Beautiful blue eyes on that thing. I want it to come out into the open. It's going to trot. This is going to be a close range shot because what we're going to do is pop up and alert him or maybe just take him when he slows down there. He got alert. That's the place to take him. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. My favorite rare for snow leopards, a leucistic male. Just impossible. 26.77, that's going in the lodge. Look at it. I mean, it's so cool looking. Double lunged it at 31 meters. I mean, like, what more can you want? Obviously, the diamond is what we're after. This unlocks so many things for us, though. Like, this is the trophy lodge stream that I've talked about doing, redoing our trophy lodges, because we've got this, we can kind of use this as at least the idea that we're going to want this in a multi-mount, obviously, probably with our leucistic gold blue sheep. So we have that. We can eventually hope to put the diamond in a multi-mount too. And it's also like, it's progress on this snow leopard hunt. We haven't got anything good in a really long time, but a leucistic gold snow leopard that is awesome so we're gonna go back to the trophy lodge i mean the hunt's done what what are we gonna do this is better than that well, we're gonna go and put that multi-mount together i can't believe we finally just got that now i was gonna bring it back to our main lodge but i figured we'll just save that for the uh wow that's been a month since we shot our troll that's crazy anyway i'll, I'll save it for the lodge redoing stream that i was talking about and I'm not exactly sure when we're going to do that. I'll make a post because I know a lot of you are looking forward to it. But um, there's that mount. We can dismantle that. And what we're going to have before we can get a diamond snow leopard is a double leucistic gold goes to the mountain multi-mount. We've got the leucistic 26.77 snowy from today. And then our 128 leucistic blue sheep. Put that together. Go ahead and place it here. That's so cool. 
I mean, there's only one pose that we can do. It's my favorite one in this. With the Snow Leopard taking down the Blue Sheep, I mean, look at the detail in it. The little areas of like lighter and darker fur, the eyes are just incredible. I mean, I can't believe that we got that. And it was like, not that we wouldn't attract it. We always track down Snow Leopards when we see them. But it was that like flash of white. I think from the side of it that we can see here, it was the opposite side, but just a little something looked off. Leads to a rare Snow Leopard. And hey, maybe a little bit of uh, reverse psychology on the game worked. It at least got us a rare. Just got to get that diamond down the line. But super excited, not just to get that, but to be able to do the Trophy Lodge uh, stream. Because again, now we kind of know what we have. We know we're going to have a rare multi-mount. And one day, the diamond multi-mount. I'm confident we'll get it eventually. And uh, just absolutely over the moon. Our first rare Snow Leopard is a gold male. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.